Hey there. So today's video is about the radio group. Uh, radio group is basically a collection of radio buttons, but the advantage of radio group is that it will handle all your uh, actions. Like say in radio buttons, you can only select one button at a time. So it will take care that only one is selected. Whereas if you were to do it as four separate radio buttons, you would have to programmatically check which one is checked and then you have to adjust it. So radio group is really useful in that. I'll show you how to make it. So my layout is set, linear layout, uh, gravity center and vertical orientation. I'll create my radio group. Radio group, uh, wrap content, wrap content. Uh, and inside the radio group, uh, you see here, I, I'll put four radio buttons just to show how it works. So I'll make one radio button, uh, wrap content, wrap content, uh, then I'll give it some text. Say choice A or rather option A and I'll give it an ID. Uh, R B A. So I'll make three more copies of this all inside the radio group. This will be R B B option B. RBC option C and RBD option D and I'll make a button just below the radio group so we can click to find out what we have selected. Uh, button wrap content wrap content uh, Android text go on click uh, we'll call the function go. So I'll go to my main activity. I'll create uh, the function go. Okay, uh, so uh, firstly we'll have to uh, make an object for the radio group. So radio group RG is equal to uh, radio group Uh, find view by id r dot id dot rg okay next uh, we will be uh, finding out which button is selected so for that there's a really nice method which will return the id of the button that's selected the radio button that's selected so let's create an integer object int option is equal to rg dot uh, check radio button ID so this will return the ID of the radio button that's checked so it's best you put your own ID so you get the right ID now we'll just use the switch case or you could even use if else that's up to you switch option into the braces uh, case first case is r dot id dot rba so in this case let's have a string here output string output is equal to blank for now uh, say you selected option A your output should be you selected option A and then we break it's important to break otherwise you will go into a fall through I will just copy paste this for all the other cases we have four cases Uh, so we have RBB that is option B we have RBC which is option C and finally we have RBD which is for option D we'll have a default statement uh, just for the scenario uh, the initial scenario you see here where no buttons are selected so default output uh, is equal to no buttons selected okay uh, so that's done now we'll just show this as a toast just type POAST toast and then select the second option that will do all the things for you you just need to fill the text 
so our text here is op output uh, so that's basically it that's the code now uh, we have accounted for the case where no buttons are selected uh, but there is a there are many cases where you definitely want one option to be selected so in that case you can always enable one yourself so i'll do that here for my option a i'll set it as android check true so this will uh, by default check option a and that will ensure that no other option yeah, the options are not left blank and at least and one option is selected coming back to the code i'll run the code okay so we have our output here but uh, just before that i forgot to, forgot to add the id for radio group so you need to add it like you normally do i set it as rg so the output is here uh, we can click any of our options go you selected option b you selected option c and so on so this is quite useful uh, if you want to automate the button selection process and it's meant for that so yeah thanks for watching